What's up guys, JFM here, back with another video. Today I have a really, really awesome video. I'm super excited to show you guys the Elite Realms application. This is an application that will allow you to create free servers that work for up to a week, and it's both Android and iOS, so everyone finally gets to share the love. So I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and jump right into this review. Before I jump right into the review, I would like to thank Gameplay Ken and Phelan08. They both showed me this app, so props to you guys. So here is the app. I'm going to be doing it on iOS uh, in this video, but it does have an Android counterpart like I talked about, and I'll be overlaying screenshots of within the app interface. So you guys can catch along, tag along is the correct terminology there, uh, for you guys that want to know what I'm doing uh, on the Android side of things. But yeah, this is the interface of the application. It's very simple. Uh, once you set it up, just search it in the App Store, Elite Realms or Elite Servers, you should find it. Uh, once you set it up, it will give you your own IP and port uh, and then you can have a ton of different settings of chains that go along with your server it's that cool now I do want to say that there are certain paid features of this so you do want to watch out because some things you might have to pay for but um, it will notify you so no worries um, but yeah so this is the application there are a ton of different settings that you can change you can change the server name uh, who are the moderators of the server the game mode they actually have four different game modes which is sweet you can do survival creative adventure or spectator um, and then you can change the map, spawn protection, you can do different economy, world edit, land protection. You can do a lot of different things within this application. Now granted, some of it's paid for, but if you just want to play with your friends, that is completely free, which is really, really cool. Also, I want to mention they do have a companion app, which I'll showcase through a uh, screenshot or something. It's Leap Donations. And what you can do in this application is you can watch ads in order to support servers to add more days to the week. Uh, to the week that they get. So say if you watch an ad, you can add another day to the server length, which is really cool. So if you want to create a server with some buddies, you can all watch a ton of ads together, and then the server will be able to stay up for a lot longer than just seven days, which is really, really cool. But now, let's just jump right into the gameplay. So this is my server IP right there, and then the port is right there. Now, in order to save time, of course... Um, I've already gone ahead and added the server. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is... The server! It works, everything is perfectly fine, you can type in chat, uh, you can walk around, you can break things and whatnot, you can smack things around and stuff, it's all there. You can grab saplings, you can plant saplings, you can do whatever you want, and that is that. Now I'm not going to show any more gameplay because it's just Minecraft Pocket Edition, but people can join you on this server. Now unfortunately I don't have anyone join me right now, but if I did, I would, trust me. So yeah, that was Leet. Now before I go, I do want to give a quick comparison to Multiplayer PE and Instant MCPE, which are other server applications or services that will allow you to create your own servers, but they fall short, plain and simple. This thing is better for most purposes. Leet offers a ton more features than both of them, and iOS users and Android users can join the servers, which is something that um, Multiplayer PE can't offer. Multiplayer PE is a really, really awesome app if you just want to play with Game Center friends and every one of your buddies has an iOS device. But if anyone has Android, they can't join Multiplayer PE servers, which is a bummer. Instant MCPE, on the other hand, has a whole different problem. All the servers are in survival, they're old world generations with no caves, none of the new features, and they're all um, non-infinite worlds. So it's kind of a bummer, really, on that end. Also, those things expire in one day. So it's it's definitely not as good as Leet. Just go ahead and get Leet instead of that. And then if you want to play custom apps with some iOS friends, keep Multiplayer PE on your phone, because it is a good app. But yeah, so that's my two cents. Just thought I'd throw them out to you guys. So if you want to check out this app, I think it's really cool. I don't know how many people know about this. I don't know if it'll be able to handle the server load. But if you just want to play with a few different friends, this is definitely a good way to do it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.